Hello, my name is Amy Ludwig Vanderwater. I'm a writer and teacher living in Western New York, and I'm happy you're here for day 62 of Keeping a Notebook. This is Betsy the Writing Camper, the place where we meet. At that little hummingbird feeder out front, there's almost always a hummingbird. Today's Keeping a Notebook writing chat is titled, If You Need Someone. Hello, writing friends. Welcome back. It is day 62 of Keeping a Notebook. Let's do our high five. I'm glad you're here. Today's writing chat is titled, If You Need Someone. And it grew from kind of a funny thing. I was sitting here in Betsy the Writing Camper yesterday, and I was writing in my other notebook. I have a big notebook I've been writing in, in the afternoons and evenings. And when I was writing in that notebook, all of a sudden, I just wanted to draw little teeny tiny flowers. And so I did, I drew a lot of them. You can see them right here. And then I didn't really know what today's chat would be. And I thought, you know, I like drawing little teeny tiny flowers. I could do that for other people. And I just started writing something with the phrase, if you need someone. And I could have followed that with many other phrases. Like I could have said, if you need someone to bake you some chocolate chip cookies, or if you need someone to help you with a problem, or if you need someone to read you a story. But I was thinking about drawing teeny tiny flowers, so that's where I went. And here's what I wrote. It's Poetry Friday, so I did end up typing this up and revising it a bit, and it will be on my blog, The Poem Farm. You'll find it there. If you need someone. If you need someone to draw tiny flowers, not in rows, but in whimsy, hundreds of tiny flowers for no reason at all, other than the idea of inky flowers on paper, the magic of flowers growing immediately from a ready hand. If you need scatters of unnecessary flowers, black flowers in a meadow of white, I am here. I am ready to draw. You do not need to know why you want flowers or even to say a word. Just hold out your hand. Hold out your hand to my hand. Take this paper. These flowers are for you. They are growing. They are growing. They will always grow. And you can see here, this is in short line breaks. It's a free verse poem. So it's a poem that doesn't rhyme. But you'll notice there is the repetition of flowers and growing certain words I used again and again. I did at the end add, if you need someone, and I thought I could write to hold your cat while you clip its nails or to help you eat gummy bears or I could have to listen to you when you're having a hard day. There are many ways that we can help people, big ways, serious ways, that in silly, fun ways too. So today's writing exercise is simply beginning with, if you need someone, and this could be a poem as I wrote, or it could be the beginning of something completely different. This of course is in your hands as the writer. So I need you to know we're together in this and I'm grateful for you every day when I wake up and I come out here to Betsy, I think about you, I wonder what you're writing. And in a way we are connected and I am thankful to you for that. So you take real good care and I will see you very soon. Here is some flower doodling I did in a different notebook last night. The doodling gave me the idea for today's writing. This is my handwritten draft for today's poem. You can see some crossing out, just like always. Find the typed revised version of today's poem at my blog, The Poem Farm. There are many ways to be needed and many ways to write. I wish you a joyous weekend. Happy Poetry Friday.